A lot of people don't realize that the Dutch were the first settlers in Delaware. When they come into the museum, I think one of the first things that attracts them is the architecture. They come in and they think maybe this was a church or they're not sure. When we tell them the story about the Dutch arriving in 1631, a lot of people seem to be surprised. 300 years later, I believe the state's feeling was we needed to honor our Dutch roots. So we built a museum. We offer programs on maritime history. We have um, some artifacts from Her Majesty's Brig de Brock. It was a British naval ship that was once a Dutch ship. It was in the Delaware Bay. A squall came up and it took on water and it sunk. We have artifacts from that shipwreck. There are over 60,000 pieces in our collection right now. Um, these that you see in the boxes, we discovered in 2004, right at the mouth of the Roosevelt Inlet off of Lewis Beach. Um, we believe it was a merchant ship. It would have been prior to the Revolutionary War, and it um, contained cargo from many, many different countries. An archaeological illustrator draws artifacts. It's a form of scientific drawing and it picks up details that you might not see in a camera, even a good digital camera. There are so many mysteries to be solved from a shipwreck or even from something that is found on land. This shipwreck, although it is known to be um, a merchant ship, we don't know everything about it, so this is just part of the puzzle. It was not a treasure ship in the sense of pirate gold, but it is an historical treasure. Every day is a new adventure. We do colonial games and colonial themes and, and staff will dress up in period clothing. We have activities that children can draw the artifacts and uh, learn and actually do a hands-on history. They can touch history. I love this job because it's so much variety. Each day holds a new thing. Um, we get to meet a lot of interesting people from a lot of different places. We, we get a lot of visitors from the Netherlands. We've had people from England. We get people from Canada. We get people from Germany. Um, in the fall and winter, we like to do a series of some sort to attract people. Um, it could be anywhere from lighthouses to, to food. It just depends what we decide to do that season. There's a lot of history and prehistory in this area, and it's just fun. We bring history to life and, and, and put that people element to it.